Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to select or unselect all option buttons on different sheets in one click. We have two worksheets here, one option, one button. If you would like to run through all the option buttons on different sheets, what we have to do here, we need two variables. One is to run through the worksheet. One is to run through the option buttons. Okay, let's go to developer tab and go to Visual Basic and try. Okay, simply select a worksheet to put in the code. So let's say we choose the sheet one. As usual, write the name. So this is to run option button. So maybe we write run button. Remember, we need two variable so remember to define the variables so we have worksheet so ws as the variable as worksheet so we have to select or type without s so another one is to define the option button so we have to define as object we have to remember that this option button or the option buttons that we created are actually the active X controls. So they are actually the object, the OLE object. So we define as object. Okay, then we run using for loop. So for each, meaning to say we have to run every worksheet in where in this active workbook okay what we are running actually is the worksheets so we have to dot worksheets okay select then we have for each option button in this so the syntax must be exactly the same so that we can run correctly in this worksheet. So once we selected a worksheet, then we have to call this worksheet. Then what we run in this worksheet, the OLE objects. What we are running, the option button. So remember, option button is an object now. So what we want to run is the value because we want to select or unselect all. So if let's say we want to select all, meaning to say we have to put one and then once this option button is already selected, then we have to move to the next. Once this is selected, once this is already done on a particular sheet, then we have to move to the next sheet. Basically, the coding is already done. So let's run and see what happened. Okay, so as we can see, only one of the option buttons is being selected. This is because, as we can see from the properties, the group name for all the option buttons are exactly the same we need to say there are one group for option button for the same group we are allowed to select only one option button so meaning to say when the vba run this button this button is being selected when run to the next then this will be selected and run to the next then this will be selected and all others will be unselected so we can only select one option button. Therefore, to overcome this issue, first we have to run through all the group names. So group name. What we have to do here, we create a variable, simply put as i. Then after that, once this is already changed, this option button, the group name is already changed. Then we have to update. So i is now equal to i plus 1. 
so we have this then we can now run to the next once this is done change so update it then next option button then run then update it next and so on okay now let's check so run so as we can see the option button now we can select all at the same time okay as we can see the group name is now different group name the first one is empty one two even on the next page we have three four five and six now okay let's run again see what happened so we go back to visual basic now we change back to the value okay so we just test to unselect all press since some of them are, is already being selected so we run okay so unselected unselected okay now let's select them so we put as one run so selected all the other sheet also selected all how if we would like to select or unselect all option buttons in one click we can actually insert an active x control the option button this we can instruct to select all so type here we can change to select all remember to change the group name okay maybe change to all so that we can run separately for select all and reset if not, later the output will not be the one that we want. So reset. Here, group name change to reset. Okay, so now let's double click and insert the clip. So select all, we should have this means that all the option buttons should be selected then when we click on this all should be reset remember to be logic once we will up to select all this reset button should not be affected so remember at the end we have to change so this is on the sheet one sheet one dot option button four is for reset all now it's option button five four is to select all so we can ignore what we want is set the reset button which is option button 5 to the row is that not selected then at the time we want to reset or remember do not reset the option button 5 so remember set back to 1 if let's say this one we don't really a border then we just need no okay so let's try again see what happened okay let's try we select all so all option buttons on different shape being selected then we reset all or reset or reset select or selected reset or another case is how was they on the same sheet itself we have one checkbox so what happened let's see if we 
select all, this also being selected. Reset all, this also being select, unselected. This is because this is also the OLE objects. So if let's say we don't want to have any effect on the checkbox, what we have to do here, uh, we go back to the visual basic. We just have to use if function. So if the type name, what is the type of this object? If this is this object. Okay, the type name of this object is of remember the syntax is very important option button. Then we have to run this. Else we just ignore. So start with if and with if. So repeat the same thing for the reset button. So we have option, option button that only we run. If not, then shouldn't run anything. Start with if and with if. Okay, now let's try. So we have to select all of them. So this is not affected. Reset all of them. This is not affected. If let's say we select and check. Okay, select all, reset. So as we can see, it's still being selected. It's not affected. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.